Okay, this is a feedback for composition two. So first off, a couple of things I've noticed is 120 BPM. Now that to me is a dead giveaway that you haven't thought about tempo. So, um, because that's the default tempo. So consider changing the tempo either, you know, uh, even one BPM is enough just to have said that you've thought about the tempo because it's, you know, 120 BPM is a bit of a dial tempo, to be honest. So that's the first thing. Also, it's too short. So you've really got to be thinking about a section B, a variation in some way in the track, you know. Normally, maybe use the bass line to do this, but um, that is another thing that I've noticed. Also, I think uh, you've basically used presets because when I look on here, I see distortion and EQ and this kind of EQ setting. It makes me think that you ha haven't actually thought about uh, the sounds themselves, all the effects like this one here, multi-presser, compressor. This is a, a, a pre-built drum sounds, if you like. So um, you can't really get much credit for that because you haven't actually done anything yourself. So um, think about that. Uh, first thing I'm going to say to improve it is to use a reverb on a bus. So if we open up the mixer with X and we go into sends and we create a bus. So for some reason we use bus 19. And uh, in this bus we, we put in a reverb. I'd say a space designer. And um, just say a large space, say a hall and uh, something like a bright hall, something like that. And uh, let's leave that over here. Now, if I turn this fader up, it will add reverb to the clicks at the beginning. Which is obviously something you need. And it's quite an interesting pattern, but you could just do more with it. We need to see variation. Now, uh, one way to do variation is um, to just just treat every part as slightly different. So in here, for example, let's have, if we look at the part, we could say, just the second time we're gonna do that. So, you know, just look. And just vary that all the way through. So it's, it's moving with the track, so it's not repetitive. Uh, it's definitely a case of loopitis here. You've just essentially made once something and then you uh, just copy that. Uh, and that's just not, that's not going to access the higher grades if you do that. So you just got to think about that. So um, well, let's pad. Again, you just use the alchemy. You can automate this. You can just do very quick automation on this. We just uh, put it into automate automation touch mode. This means it will go back to the l the last feature. I'm now in automation record now. So if I stop playing and I move this about, right. And now if I put this back into read, it'll start moving. And you can edit that if you press A, it brings up the automation. You can see the lines there. We can just change the different types of automation. That's one of them. And then click on this arrow down here and we've got the other one. And we can change that. You know, we can do we can change stuff in this page as well. So um, you know, this is stuff to consider. The automation is definitely gonna add some interest to it. One. I mean, you could think about this tape delay. Actually, it's I wish I had a record like that. Boy, could I have some fun! <laughs> right. So, um, you know, you can mess around with these. If you're going to use a preset, at least have a look at what's in it and see if there's anything you can add to it. What happens if you turn it off or when you adjust it? Because this is all stuff you can put in your write-up. Um, so let's carry on. Let's uh, we got. Let's have a look at this sample. So, great sample. Don't know where you got it from. It sounds like a classic. I wish I had a record like that. Boy, could I have some fun. <laughs> well, it's got a lot of hiss in it. Uh, you could probably edit that, but, you know, we can do stuff with this. I mean, uh, first off, let's, if you get the scissors, T, T on the toolkit, get your scissors out, and just chop up the words. I 
wish I could do something like that, I'm assuming. I wish I had a record like that. I wish I had... Well, that's a bit long. I wish I had a record... That's I wish. So anyway, I've chopped it up into little bits. Now I can highlight that. And if I control click it, I can convert it to a sampler track. And I want to uh, use the regions because I've chopped it up. I'm not going to look at transient markers and make it start on C3 in the middle of the keyboard because it's only a few samples. It's nine re nine samples it's going to be. And that's going to create a MIDI version of it. So now, uh, if I solo it out, obviously, it'll help. I wish I had a record like yeah. Well, now I can edit those if I go to the EXS I can edit them here and um, look at them in, in individually so I wish I had a record like that I wish I had a record like that and uh, look at that low uh, look in sample editor and there it is and play that this one yeah that and I can just tidy it up I wish I had a I wish I had a record uh, go back uh, so you've got to be careful with it, but um, I record like that, that. so that note there is fine, do the save the changes, and uh, then you can go, we can unmute those again, <clears throat> and we can play that on a keyboard. So if I highlight... I wish I would die had record 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 and then we can use that and we could put an effect on it say we could put some delay on it uh echo delay on it record 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 so let's play it I wish I had a record like that boy could I have some fun record 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 Fun, 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 playing it. Um, <clears throat> okay, so there's a lot coming in here. Um, Some fun. <laughs> not sure about this. Again, maybe you could filter it. So we could try putting a um, filter on there, auto filter. And uh, this will create, this will take out the top end. And again, you can automate that. So that could bring a bit of movement. <laughs> right. Um, let's talk about the bass line. So the bass line is to my mind, should be some kind of glue between the rhythm and the, the melodies and the instrumentation, the chords. What you have here, if I just stop cutting things in half. Um, oh, doesn't matter, this is going, is really long notes. Right, that's boring, okay? We could do something more with that. So just even if we were just going to go like doom, doom, doom. And do something with the sound. So if we are on this one, and we could just use the release time, change the release time a little bit here. You know, and then you can get it doom, ba doom, doom, boom. Get a bit more interesting. See, so it's a lot more interesting than just the single notes. This is a bit enharmonic, dis dissonant. I'm not sure that's you really need that. But, um, you know. I wish I had a record like that. Boy, could I have some fun. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really need it. You can just have more interest in the drums. And then you've got to think about dropping things out. So here, for example. 
example, you could drop out the drums um, to add sort of a tension and release. <laughs> Because uh, that the pause like that is a really good way of telling the listener that something's going to happen. It's like a oh, pause, go kind of thing, and um, so that that's something which will definitely makes the arrangement and composition sounds better. Again, this sound, there's nothing on it. You haven't used any effects at all. You haven't looked at compression, no panning. So, I mean, even this, you could, again, look at just automating something. Or maybe you want to try these. Or these. Okay. So, uh, look at automating. But you could, uh, another thing you could use, which is quite a good little effect, is the modulation, the tremolo effect. So, I quite use this quite a lot. So, you can just have it set like this. Go between the left and right speakers because it's out of phase. But you can put it in phase, smooth it out a bit. Eight. So again, that's going to add interest. You could take it out of um, uh, tempo. automate that that's going to add more interest so um yeah generally just use a bit of automation well what am i listening to here where's your lead line is it here this one that's not bad but again it's too much going on i mean you could drop the bass try dropping the bass for once bass definitely needs work because it's uh just just there kind of droning away a bit um so you could look at time stretching as well well that's got loads of effects on it already which is kind of i don't know a little bit uh you know there's not much you can do you get many marks for that because it's essentially it's the whole but that one, you could take that note. If we take this note here, I'm just going to duplicate the track. Command D uh, down. Oh no, let's highlight that one. Command D and drag that down in here. And then I can take the corner of this and press Option, and it will stretch it. So it will sound like this. <laughs> And then obviously you put a delay on that as well. Uh, if we use a kind of a, let's use a delay designer. This is pretty mental. So if we use a simple kind of pitch shifted rising pitch and then put that on there. And there you go. So you can do kind of weird things with that. So we just need to see a little bit more effort with the sample there. And, uh, you know, it's obviously it's too short, which is a bit of a, a thing because it's you haven't got long to go. Um, but you could really do lots with dropping things out, changing things around a little bit and um, using effects and automation to create interest in the arrangement and the composition. OK, there you go. <laughs>